during the uh, that that camp period, I passed ten merit badges. I had my second class earned, by the way, when I went to camp, but I was not did not have all the requirements for my first class. I had everything but swimming. I was afraid of water. I had witnessed one drowning and helped uh, pull another drowned boy out of the Verdigus River at, at Coffville earlier on our summer camp there. So by the time Camp Bob Garland rolled around, I have left out the camp of uh, Cedar Bluff at Coffville because it just, I'd be here all night on that. <laughs> Have you stop for a second? We'll let you get a drink. Yeah, please. At the close of Camp Bob Garland, when we went in there, I repaired the pump, their uh, John Deere engine and everything for them, got the water supply going, and saved the camp for them. The, uh, at the campfire at the end of, uh, oh, one important thing at Camp Bob Garland, the boys knew that I could swim. They had been watching me in the creek there. They were pretty sure of everything. They had, they had Eagle Scouts all down the creek bank for the 50 yards. And even as we were going down to swim, I noticed these two or three Eagle Scouts budding up to me, walking down to the creek to go swimming. And I thought, something funny going on. When we got to the low bridge there, they picked me up, tossed me overboard, said, swim that 50 yards. Well, I made it. That finished up my first class badge. Then I learned that they had scouts all down the creek along that 50 yard in case I panicked and needed help. At the closing campfire, I was tapped out for the, as a member of the Order of the Arrow to take the ordeal the 1st of September of that fall which I went back on my 1928 Harley-Davidson motorcycle and took the ordeal in the, in the Order of the Arrow. That's 77 years ago. So many things happened at Camp Bob Garland. I can't begin to tell them all tonight. I learned how to make my first Indian bowl there under the supervision of an old Sioux Indian who was 75 years old with his flint knives and scrapers no pocket knives, no draw knives. If I didn't have his supervision, I could not have done it. I still have that bow at home in very good condition, made out of bow dark. Okay, I have a question for you. Okay. Okay, now remember, answer in a whole sentence. Sir? Answer with a complete sentence. Okay, here's your, here's your question. Does scouting cross religious and cultural divides and why? I don't quite get that. Okay. Um, does scouting cross religious and cultural divides? No. Okay. Explain, explain what you mean. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, regardless of your faith. Okay. Um, are the scouting values relevant today? They are if they will practice them. The scout laws, 